Hi, I'm Andrew Malka. If you are using Linux as your operating system and you want to start exploring the world of containers, this is the right place. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to install Docker on Linux. In my next video, I will show you how to use Docker to run the containers. So please subscribe to my channel to not miss it. But right now, let's focus on the installation process. I'm going to use my machine with Ubuntu. If you are using another Linux distribution, I will show you where you can find detailed instructions. So I switch to my browser and I type docker.com. I will scroll down and here is the link to docs. The docs.docker.com open in a new tab and you can click on the download and install. Then I click on Docker for Linux and then I'm opening the installation per distro. And as you can see, there is a detailed instructions how to install uh, Docker on CentOS, Debian, Fedora, Ubuntu. In my case, I'm going to follow Ubuntu procedure, but in your case, it could be any other uh, distros that you use. So I'm switching to my terminal and this is my Ubuntu 2004 machine. If I type docker now, we will see that the command docker not found. So there is no docker on this machine. Before I will install docker on this machine for the first time, I need to set up a docker repository. Afterwards, I can install and update docker from the repository. So I don't need to follow all the steps again and again and again. So the first command that I'm going to run is command to update my apt packages. So I type sudo apt get update. You don't need to retype all these commands. I will put all the commands that I run in the description to this video. So you just simply can copy paste. And I click enter. Okay, so all my packages are updated. And right now, I'm going to install some packages to allow apt to use a repository over HTTPS. And to do so, I type sudo apt-get install. And the first package will be apt transport HTTPS. The next package will be ca certificate. The next package is curl. Then JNUPG agent and the last one software properties common. And I click enter. It asks me if I want to continue. I say yes. And it's finished. So the next step that we need to do is we need to add a GPG key. If you don't know what is GPG, GPG is implementation of uh, open pretty good privacy, which is uh, encryption technique that was originally designed for email exchange, but right now it's commonly used to sign the software in Linux or, for example, to sign repositories uh, on GitHub. So we need to add a GPG key. I will clear my screen. And to do so, I execute the command curl with the flags f, s, s, l. Then I need to specify a URL for the key which is https download docker.com slash linux slash ubuntu slash gpg and then another command sudo apt key at minus and I click enter and my Ubuntu give me a warning that apt key is deprecated but it's also replied with ok so it means that uh, we have a key. To check that, I'm going to execute the command sudo apt key fingerprint and I'm going to use the eight last characters from the gpg key, which are 0, e, b, f, c, d, 8, 8. And I click enter. Again, the same warning that this apt key is deprecated, but in any case, uh, it reply with the full fingerprint. So our PGP key is added successfully. And the last command to set up the repository will be actually add this repository to apt. 
So I type sudo at apt repository and then I provide a string which contains depth. Next, I need to provide an architecture. So I type arch equals, in my case, it's IMD64, but in your case, it could be different. Uh, like for example, IRAM, if you're running on the Raspberry Pi. And again, I want to repeat, if you want to see all the possible architectures, then you can go to documentation website. And if you scroll to this tab, you will be able to see this is this is for AMD64, this is for IRAM, and this is for IRAM64, yeah? So you can see all the commands that you provide for multiple architectures. I'm switching to my terminal, and because I'm using AMD64, so I just type AMD64. Then I need to provide a URL for this repository, which will be https download.docker.com slash linux slash ubuntu then i provide the lsb release command and i provide two flags cs that will actually return uh, the code name of my distribution in the short format and then at the end i type stable because i want to use repository that contains the stable version of docker if you prefer to have nightly or test repository then you can also type it here after the stable and i click enter and i press enter to continue and it's done so i clear my screen and right now everything is ready to install docker engine on linux to do so i again update my apt packages so i type sudo apt get update and I click enter and the next command will install docker I type sudo apt get install docker ce I also want to install docker cli so I type docker ce cli and container dio And I click enter. It asks me if I want to continue. Of course I want. And it's done. So I clear my screen. And I can type command just to see if Docker works at all. I type Docker version. And as you can see right now, it doesn't say that Docker is not found. It says that the, the version of the Docker is 2010. And to prove that Docker can successfully run a container, I can type sudo docker run hello world. And I click enter. And if you see the text hello from Docker, then it means that the Docker can successfully run your containers. Which actually means that the Docker is successfully installed on Linux and ready to use. And how to use Docker to run a containers will be my next video. So subscribe to my channel to not miss it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.